選手に花束の贈呈が行われますバス・ヌッテン選手 Who's this guy? He looks so young. Who is that guy? Oh, that's Sebastian Rutten from Holland. Right. He is a three time King of Pancras. e And he's giving Carlos Newton, he's giving Carlos Newton the flowers. And he's giving the flowers to Kazushi Sakuraba. ここでバス・ルッテン選手よりファンの皆様にご挨拶がございます皆さん元気 ?I'm very happy to be here tonight and、um, as everybody knows maybe not in October I'm going to fight against the Ready Go Tour for the Ultimate Fighting Championship and then after my contract with the UFC I hope to return in the Pride Ring And especially when I can fight against Mr. Hickson Gracie. Sayonara! Thank you very much. And first, in June, the Ultimate Fighter was fought after, and after, the Pride Ring was fought for the Negawakuba Hickson Gracie. I'm going to fight for the Pride Ring. Thank you very much. Sayonara! Come on. Thank you very much. 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 That man is truly a well spoken individual. Okay, Stephen, and how did I look?、Uh, I think you looked extraordinary. The green did you well. I know, man. You know what? They don't put on the camera anyway, so I might as well. I s a s h e my own clothes. Oh, man, I'm tired from it. Okay, Carlos Newton from Ontario, Canada. 5'9, 169 pounds. Takada Dojo, 180 centi, 88 kilo. Sakuraba Kazushi! And Kazushi Sakuraba, who was so spectacular in Pride Fighting Championships number two against Vernon Tiger White, going up against the very tough. Carlos Newton. Carlos Newton owning a win over the Shuto Light Heavyweight Champion Eric Paulson and having lost a very tough fight to Dan Henderson in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Sakuraba coming out kicking. Good kicking. Good left low kick. And Newton into the body lock. Seems he wants to be on the ground. But last time we saw Sakuraba on the ground, he looked pretty sharp. He looks like a great submission guy to me. And look at this balance he has. Oh my God. Newton went for a trip takedown, and Sakuraba did a cartwheel with Newton attached and flipped over into his guard. I told you last time we saw him fight, he's got some serious wrestling skills. His balance is phenomenal. Look at, because... look at, look at the speed, though. Whoa! Right for the armbar, unbelievable! Oh, he's got it! Oh, he's got... Newton has fought his way out, unbelievable! He,、uh, Newton pushed the wrong way. He, he should have pushed the leg off his head. What was he thinking? Sakuraba has come out aggressive here. I, I told you last time, this guy's an armbar guy. Unbelievable. Okay, Newton on top. Side mount. Now look at Sakuraba moving right out of the side mount. I'm telling you, Sakuraba is something else in this fight. And also, Newton is, is, is a good fighter. Actually, he's, after this fight, he, I was talking to him. He's coming to train at the Beverly Hills Jiu Jitsu. Oh, oh, oh. oh, toe hold. Very nice attempt. He should punch now. He should punch、he's、now. Definitely. He should. But it's like, you know, two submission guys. They want to see you as the best in submissions, but I, I, I would say forget about it, man. This is a fight. Use anything you have. Well, we saw that in, with Vernon Tiger White that they went for two rounds and tried to out submit each other, couldn't, then say, you know what, forget this. Let's, let's fight real Fatley Tudo. Let's fight mixed martial art rules. Let's punch, kick, and submit. 
All I can say is, wow, these guys came out a blazing. Sakuraba seeming to get the better of the action early on. There seems to be a method to Sakuraba's madness. He's got the most bizarre moves, the way he does that single takedown. Both moving. Is These guys control. are very skilled, man. How the, fluent they're, everything goes. Yeah, they're, they're definitely playing at a higher level. S Sakuraba, you can tell Newton is thinking that Sakuraba's thinking about passing the guard, but is Sakuraba going to go for the figure four toe hold? Is he going to go to pass the guard? What's he going to do? Newton is thinking about that. Newton has got that uh, right hook under Sakuraba's crotch area, thinking about a sweep. So much strategy here. That's a smart thing. Put that knee away. Don't give that leg. God knows she knows leg submissions. Now, Carlos Newton is very adept at the armbar also. As I said, he beat Eric Paulson with an armbar. And he also beat Kazuhiro and Shuto with an armbar as well. So he's got that armbar in his uh, repertoire. Sakuraba hustling. Armbar oh, again. Going for the armbar. And Carlos flipping up on top. Oh, what an absolute beautiful move by both fighters. Wow. wow. <laughs> this is an amazing matchup. Amazing. I had said that Vernon Tiger White versus Kazushi Sakuraba was maybe the most technical grappling match that I'd ever seen. This may have trumped that. This may be more technical, but more exciting because these guys are really going for it. Yeah, and they, they're, they're very close technical-wise. And the movement also, it's fluent. It's beautiful in balance. What surprises me is the unorthodox way Carlos Newton gets out of those armbar attempts. It was a strange way, actually, because he wasn't pulling, pushing the leg off his head. He was pushing the other leg, and that's, that was very strange to me, I think. Mm. What you should do, oh, toe hold. Oh. See, he knows he's gonna go for the toe hold. It's like, look, he's trying to set up the fake, but he's thinking, these guys are thinking about four things at once. They're thinking, your leg's there, your two arms are there, and your neck is there. But right now, it's Sakuraba dictating the pace, for sure. Wow! <laughs> nice kick. See, a match like this, it can go on and on and on, and I don't care because the unpredictable things that are going to happen will keep me satisfied because I know that two guys like this, two innovators like this, they're going to leave us with something, a mark of some kind of excellence, a signature move, a signature series of moves. These guys have come here not only to fight, Whoa. but also to put on a show, obviously. Look how he does the takedown. It's so, he makes it look so easy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now watch the way, watch the way Sakuraba relaxes, picks his moment, then explodes. Beautiful. I like that. Puts his hand right on his forehead. Said, "Nah, get back down get there." Get back. You don't gonna gonna get up. It looks like he's going for like a heel See, hook or something. You, you, yeah. Do you remember you told you told me about the code? There you go. Go hold again. Oh man, that's nice. he's got it. He's got he's it. Got it. Oh man, he's got it. Carlos is gonna really hustle to get out of this one. He should stretch his leg. No, get away from it. Last of three weeks. Wow. Oh, my God. Now, Carlos is going to go for the choke or not? Finally, we're going to see some strikes. 
I think Carlos knows that he needs it. But he's exposing himself. Sakuraba has shown utter disdain for people when they get his back. He's like, go ahead, take my back. It used, care. It used to be the death sentence when a grappler or hoist gracer or whoever got your back, the fight was going to be over. But now, Sakuraba has come out. Every one of his fights I've seen, he, he gives up his back. And it's amazing because he really is not worried at all about being submitted from this position. Yeah, but you should worry for, for knees and kicks. Not to the head, but to the body, you know? I think the Sakuraba, they might, they might have one of those codes about grappling where the, there's no striking, okay? Because they've had so many opportunities where they could have punched each other. But I don't think they made any kind of a deal here, but it's just, why? Uh-oh, Sakuraba looks like he's going for that uh, left leg of Carlos Newton. But mo both men have primarily won most of their fights, Sakuraba having had only a couple of mixed martial art fights. By submission, neither one of them have knocked anybody out, so it doesn't surprise me that we don't see a lot of strikes, but we haven't seen any strikes. I think strikes could set up submissions, personally. I think so, too. I think it's the best way to set up uh, yeah, submissions and positioning also. Because it throws the guy off, it distracts the guy, or it hurts the guy. Whereas the, if, if he, the guy just watches you and he sees you going for the leg, he knows you, he's going for Nobody's the leg. He, he, he knows what you're going to do. Whoa, that oh. was a good one. That was a wake-up call. Yeah, okay, so you strike now. <laughs> okay. That was a wake-up call, so Carlos had probably said, okay, that code, if there was one, which it doesn't seem there was, uh, Sakuraba just landed a nice grazing right hand yep. off the left cheekbone of Carlos Newton. That coat turned into code red right now. I would do the same thing back. Carlos, oh, what's he... What's he, oh, he, he doesn't want to give lag. this kind of position to Sakuraba. Sakuraba Whoa, getting his back. Look at this. Now they're back up. Oh! It was a great opportunity for knees, but neither man took the opportunity, but... Uh, Sakuraba going with that left kick of his. He does have a good left roundhouse kick. Uh, Carlos Newton claims that all the muscle muscles that he has is only from like pull-ups, push-ups, dips, no weights. He doesn't do any weight training. Well, that's, that's heartening because Carlos Newton has got a great physique. And it's nice to know that that's not from weight training. Uh, a tremendous athlete, Carlos Newton. Wow, that was a fun round. I would have to definitely give Sakuraba the edge in that round. He, he controlled the round, but Newton showed a very wily sense of defense, like especially with this armbar attempt right here, where he stood up. Watch this. Yeah, he stands up, but he pushes. And he pulls his way out. But Sakuraba saved his energy and didn't go for it, and he didn't get tired as a result. Round two. Newton. He's probably going to lay down. There it is. Whoa. Uh-oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Sakuraba only go, almost going Look for a Kimura from the side. Those transitions, man. They're, they're, they're out there. They're going. Beautiful. If you want to learn about grappling, watch matches like this. Oh, yes. Oh, Look that, at this. That, that, that hurt. Look at this. That hurt just to watch it. A lot of neck and shoulder cranking going on right there, just in the rolling. Neat, that's Good. it. Good shot. That's it. Keep doing this. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. That's it. To deliver right there. Again, 
Oh, nice. Yeah, you got a bag. Remember me, punching me. <laughs> I think both these guys have in their minds that they don't want to end the match just with pure violence or punching or striking. They want to do it with some finesse, with a submission, with, with a real classy looking technique. And I admire that. But there are plenty of times where they could set up those submissions. Like if he went, like you said, over and over with the knee, it would make Sakuraba get out of this position, I believe. For sure. Uh, otherwise, he's going to go. You know, sometimes you have to set things aside, especially in the fight. You have to do anything in your power to win the fight. If that means kneeing him there and hitting him there, do, do it. Look at this, man. These guys, oh, now he's going to... I think that b because both these guys... Oh, he should cross-face him right now and pull it to the left. That could be it, the end of the fight. That could be the end of the fight. Carlos? Yeah. Cross-face him to the other side and oh, keep his leg, and yeah. that's it. Carlos looks a little puzzled. My God, man, this is so cool. <laughs> it really <laughs> is. It really is. I, I really think this is grappling mastery. Yeah. It really is. Carlos Newton versus Kazushi Sakuraba so far has been just at the height of mixed martial art grappling. It really has. Oh, good shot. Now he's getting busy. Uh-huh. Must have gotten frustrated playing the grappling game with him. Now Sakuraba going to go for a Kimura from the side, but nothing doing. Sakuraba turning into Newton's Whoa. guard. Good job, Carlos. That was a very big hand. Good job, Carlos. Yes, yes, you got it! I'm just waiting for them to do something. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you really want to see another armbar attempt so somebody can get out of it and turn his back or go around. And I think armbar coming here. Oh, 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 oh. Carlos defending really well. Whoa! Oh, he's almost got it. No, he doesn't have it. But there's no elbow there. But he's using a lot of energy. He's using a Carlos is using a lot of energy Whoa. to get out of that. Such a sense of fair play. They were talking to each other. I wonder what they said. Well, they, they said something to the referee. I guess the referee thought they were getting a little rougher, did something, but. How exciting was that? It has been Kazushi Sakuraba who's been the initiator of most of the aggression for submission. Carlos Newton, as exciting as he has been, has fought primarily in a defensive posture. Except for his strikes. He should strike now. He should just strike what he did before. <clears throat> Well, with five minutes left, Newton is, should just uh -oh. start wailing away with punches. No, no, this is bad. This is bad because Newton is... Oh, knee bar. Oh, he's got the knee bar. Oh, no. Carlos Newton has tapped out. Kazushi Sakuraba has knee bar. Carlos Newton. Wow. Beautiful. Now Sakuraba knows, look at that, look at that respect boss. He knows that he met another great grappling master in Carlos Newton. He knows. Newton tried to sink the hooks in, got a little bit lazy there. And Sakuraba capitalized. He got the, he got the knee bar. Talk about a textbook knee bar boss, huh? Beautiful. He got the toes in the neck, he, he controlled the heel. Beautiful knee bar. I have to say, in a grappling standpoint, mixed martial arts just hit a new high. 
Oh yeah, this was new standards. New people are coming up, ladies and gentlemen.